Hi everybody, my name is Antoine Obantu. Uh, so we have a question right here, x power x power 4 equals 6, 64. This question uh, was in an Olympiad exam. So there's a lot of ways that you can solve this question. So I'm going to show you different methodologies that you can solve this question, okay? So people, uh, everybody have got their own ways of learning, okay? Some people they learn in fast pace, some in slow pace. So let me try to go facing it average pace because I don't want to leave some people behind and feel like they've been left out and not clear understand okay so let me break down in a way that everybody can understand okay so uh, first and foremost I want to show you some rules some basic rules that you need to know for you to solve this question law of exponents if you have let's say x m bracket times n times uh, let's say m n t and t or any letter means you have a base and this a power so you could have rewrite it and say i can start with n either way is acceptable so if it's m n t i can replace these two and say i could start with n and then go with m either way or i could have say oh i can write it here and write here n so this is the same as is equal to either way I can replace those values. Example, if somebody give you two power four, let's say two power t power k. So this let me say two k bracket t. Okay? In a party form that there's something which is very very crucial. I want to show you. Okay? For example, if somebody give you very very important because for you to solve this you need to know this basic stuff. If somebody give let's say two, every time I say two, let me change the number. Let's say three x times five. Okay, so what you do, this let me say I can take remember this is not power, this is just a number in front of the exponential. So this let me say I can say five bracket 3 power x this is very acceptable okay and why am i showing this look what i'm going to do now let's have some question because now everything i want to show you i have shown you already now let's go and solve this question look so what you're going to do the tricks now what are the magic tricks what are the tricks that you're going to show us i'm going to show you now. what you're going to have to do look put the bracket on the left hand side and bracket on the right hand side and the main things look right see this power here you okay you have to multiply all of this stuff by this power so I'm gonna say multiply by 4 on the left hand side and on the right hand side also multiply by the same power if this was 5 right right here 5 and right there 5 so then the next step I'm gonna say I'm gonna have x I'm going to take this behind here, 4, and then we have an x power 4 equal to 6, 4, power 4, right to 6, 4, power 4, 6, 4, power 4. So the next trick is, right, make sure you have a two group of number, which is the same, okay? So I'm going to say x power 4, and then have x power 4. So separate them. So I'm going to say this is x power 4. And then this x power 4. So whatever you're gonna do here, you then the next step is try to separate them so they can look alike. X power 4, x power 4. So we have to do the same thing here, but it's not gonna be x power 4. We must have a two numbers which they must be looking alike. Look, so now I have a 64 power 4. So think of a number when I break the 64, I must have a group of the same number. For example, I know 64 it could be 4 power 3. Or it could be 8 power 2. Or it could be 2 power... 2 power what? Equals 64. 2 power 6, I think so, yes. So which number are we going to use? Look, if I remove 64, let's say I say uh, in, in the position of 64, uh, and then I say instead of 64, let me put 2 power 6, for example. I want to show you. I want to make mistake intentional so you can see why I don't have to use a certain number or which one I should use. And then I'll show you how I can do this in a fast pace. If I say 2 power 6, 
How is this going to give me? 2 power 6. 6 times 4? Because this is not power, this is like a 4. Look, you replace 64 with this, 2 power 6. Now, look, what is 6 times 4? 24. Means I'm going to have a 2 times 24. So these two numbers are now the same. So I want to plug a number whereby it's going to give me similar thing. You see here, like I got this group and that group. So 2 power 6, no. Look, I'm going to show you why. Let me take another number. So in the position of 64, let me take 8 power 2. So here, see here? Let me take 8 power 2. But on outside, I have a 4. I mean, outside the bracket. So what is 4 times 2? 4 times 2 equals 8. Okay, so this is going to give me 8 power 8. So you see, these two numbers are the same. Because my intention, I want to have a two group of numbers, which has to be the same. So yes, I'm going to take uh, 8 power 2. If I take 4 power 3, it's not going to give me two group of numbers, which is going to be the same. Okay, so I know my answer is going to be 8 power 2. So here, I'm going to say instead of 64, it's going to be 8 power 2. Because I know this, 4 times 2 equals 8. Just like how I obtained this, so it's going to be 8. So I was going to take, in the position of 64, I was going to take 8 power 2, because it's still 64. Okay, what about 4 power 3? But I know this is my answer for now. I want to show you how to get the finance, okay? What about the 4 power 3? 4 power 3, no, because look, remember it's 64 power 4, right? If I have to replace 64, and then I say it's uh, 4 power 3, look. But a 3, I must multiply by 4. What 3 times 4? 12. So you see, these are not same number. It's 4 and 12. I don't need that. I need like terms or like numbers. So I'd rather take in the position of 64, 8 power 2. So I have this. What is the next step? The next step, look, I have a, I'm going to compare this with that and this with that one right there. So each one to its own is going to give me 8. Similar, 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 similar. So the tactics is, or the techniques, try to create a way that you have to produce similar things and similar things. So the next step here, we can finish up. And say uh, x power 4 equal to 8 and x power 4 equal to 8. So I can simply take one because each one is going to give me the same answer. So then I'm going to say x power 4 equal to 8. So the next thing is 4th root of 4 and then 4th root of 4. This in this cancel. So x equal, since this is the even root, when it's even root, you must have a plus or minus. It must be plus or minus. And then square root of 8. So this is our final answer. The value of x. Excuse me, it's plus or minus square root of 8. Okay? That's our final answer. So now, you're not going to have a lot of time uh, to waste a lot of time in, let's say, write a test exam. So I'm going to show you now in a fast pace because some, some of the students here, they good in fast pace. Let's, let's do the fast pace in one minute now. So that's a question given. See how I'm going to do the fast pace. Since you have an idea how we can do it. So they give me this one right here. So I'm gonna say, well, this is four. So I can simply say multiply by four and then multiply by four. So I'll take this four behind. So it's gonna be x four multiply by whatever I have here. You take this number behind. If this is seven, write seven. If this is eight, write this here eight. So it's gonna be x power four, power four equal six and four. I'm thinking, okay, which number is gonna give me the same? So I know it's gonna be eight power two because two times four equal to eight. And they are similar. You see what I'm saying? So I'm gonna say, well, these and these are same. These and these are the same number. So I will say this equal to that, that one equal to that one right there. So I can finish up say x power four eight. So I'm gonna fourth root and fourth root this and this constant. So the value of x equal to. So since this is an even root, then there's gonna be plus or minus square root of eight. Look. There's a lot of ways you can solve this question, okay? But uh, hey, I do believe you learned from me and my methods and the way I solve, uh, the way how I approach the question. And uh, please write a comments, write the comments. Let me know what you think, your opinion. How would you solve this question? What is your thought when you face time solve this question? What is running your mind? Like some people they say, oh, I could apply local rhythm. See, so now try to do it in your own way and then let me know.
See, do let me know, leave a comments, tell me. Okay? Like, hey, my approach, or you know, I could have done your own way that you did. Hey, by the way, thanks a lot of your time. Share this video, subscribe, like this video. If you had to give advice to, you know, to grade 11 student, teen, or you know, high school student, uh, mm -hmm. as far as how to start a physics or how to perform better, you know, is, you know, is contains is possible, is contains that you could advise to them, how would you tell them? So, physics is all about your formulas and obviously getting it right. Because sometimes questions can have a lot of detail inside of them. Mm -hmm. So you have to make sure that you plug in the right values at the right places. Thank you, Thank you for giving us clothes. Thank you for looking after us. Mm -hmm. We appreciate your clothes and your shoes you're giving for us. She does, she, he, give us, give, give us, give us clothes. We don't have clothes, but we're giving us something. We're looking after us. Okay, Shamil, tell them when did you last go to school? I was going last year. I was the last time I was going to school. Which grade was that? I was grade nine. That was grade nine. Yeah. That's the last time you went to school. Yeah. So you know, you you can become engineer. You can become scientist, right? Yeah. I was also on the street. I think I'll tell you every time, right? Three years you said. Three years old, I was down the streets, okay? So I was just like you, okay? I was also on the street for three years. But I came out of the street and that changed my life, okay? So Yo, what's up, man? Yeah, what's up? How you doing, bro? Yo, 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 what's up, man? Hey, what's up? How oh, beautiful. You see, I was also on the street for three years, okay? Say hello to the brother, man. This is my brother, man. How you doing, man? Cool, cool. So I got a lot of clothes for you, okay? You remember I told you I was gonna go and get clothes, shoes. I got some food. I'm gonna buy you some food, okay? Huh? Huh? Man, come on, man. You, you know, brother got your back. What did I tell you last time? Yes. Okay, cool. So, Shamil, he said he stopped last year, right? Because if y'all want to reach out, how do we pronounce your name? Let me try. Wait, let me try. Okay. Okay. Watch here. You know, they can learn from me that, you know, relationship. Uh, is very very important and you know sometimes don't look about today you might scam somebody maybe one dollar but you don't know who that person is you know well, what i'm saying well, here's, this is the thing too um uh, that um for many a years i've always been that person to try to link hook up pass on or help people because i used to know a lot of people right Hurry. Oh, it was a little bit too so yeah, I miss that. You turn our band to get the book. Everyone, my name is Diko. The reason why I'm doing this video is because of you turn our band. It's because of the help of you turn our band. You turn our band is a nice guy who help people like me who don't afford to reach out. And that's exactly what you're saying is that, you know, these people who are scammers and try to get over on people and, and, and all they're doing is living from day. Oh, is that Mike? Is that, hold on, it look like some, what's your name, bro, at the bottom right? Matwana. Matwani. Matwana. Matwana. Right? Matwana. Mentwana. I don't know how to say it. I apologize. My mic was muted. I apologize. I'm sorry. It's okay. Mm. What's up, <laughs> y'all? Not much code. Cool. <laughs> hey man, I watch you all the time. I just want to give my uh my thanks to you, man. Cause uh me and my lady, my lady. You said kind of And I'm gonna be working out um the net electro electric. Um, field strains on point A basically. Thank you. Can you do real, can you real do those questions? Yeah, yeah. can you okay, do Okay, let's see. Thanks a lot. So how did you know all this stuff? Um Mr. Amish taught me all the steps. Uh -huh. Um it was a bit hard first time but um when you get when you get used to it it becomes very easy. You had to give advice or which advice did you give uh, to the people or to the students? Trust Amish. <laughs> why, why would they trust me? No, because it's really good. They actually has helped a lot. Uh, first, I, I read it first year for maths, 
it was my own fault, but also I didn't know a lot of the work. And Hamish said lots of hard questions, and it's it's demotivating sometimes to do the hardest stuff. You like just want to get done, but it's the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy. Uh, how many days have you uh, involved in this program of coding? Of coding? Well, yes. for two days. For two days. Do you enjoy? Yeah. Enjoy? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> let's get into it. So, what is, which computer language is this? Well, this... So, I started coding last year. Uh -huh. And um, the beginning, it was very hard. Uh -huh. So, I had... This way, this way. So, uh -huh. I practiced a little and then the house like easier. But it's still tough, but it's still getting, still getting there. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then obviously one question could lead to another question being asked. Mm -hmm. So you have to take into consideration that you get your first question right before mm -hmm. you do the second one. Because once if you do the first question right, mm -hmm. then you have obviously a correct answer. But if you do it incorrectly, your your next question that you do could obviously have an impact on the the answer that you got in the previous question. Okay. So obviously getting the stuff right at um at the first attempt and obviously plugging in your values correctly. Okay.